Okay, uh, here we go. I'm going to knock up a cat food, raw cat food. Um, chopping block, good cleaver, knife steel. I'm going to mix it in this good old waste paper bin. And I'm going to start with heart. I've cheated on the heart. Um, I've got one, an ox heart ordered, but that's not going to be here till tomorrow afternoon. So I bought some already diced from Morrison's. So that's diced heart. There's about 430 grams in each one of these. So we'll uh, start off by chucking that in as it is. So that's about kilo roughly to all intents and purposes of heart. Um, this is chicken liver. There's 400 grams of chicken liver. Um, don't really need all that. Um, it's a bit much but who cares. It's not that much too much. So that's uh, maybe should have chopped that liver up actually. That was bigger than I thought it was. Let me just take that back out. Chop some of that up. The heart doesn't really matter because mine will quite happily munch the heart whatever size it is. But um, The liver I don't want to meet in great big chunks of liver like this and end up crapping it out. So I'll just chop this up quickly. Um, Liver and uh, kidney. I've got some kidney, but it's in the freezer. I can't bother to defrost it. Um, it's much easier if it's part partly frozen. You can cut it a lot easier. It doesn't wobble all over. And this is like trying to cut jelly when it's when it's uh, fresh. But if you stick it in the freezer for an hour until it just partly freezes, it stiffens up and it's much, much easier to cut. I'm hoping they're going to eat this chicken liver because I've never actually, I don't think I've ever actually used chicken liver before. Um, that's just give that a bit of a mix. Yeah, that looks, looks delicious already. I didn't see in there, I can't see the phone. So that's the liver and heart. Um, got a good sized chicken, so a two, <coughs> two kilo chicken. If you saw my other video, I take the legs and wings off first, so let's just do that. Deal with the legs first. I'm just going to quickly debone these. Let the uh, 
cats have the bones to chew. I don't like to break these bones up because the, the splints are quite nastily. Here you go. And I'm just cutting up the um, skin and everything goes in. There's, there's no, uh, there's no um, need to be taking skin off this. The cats need the fat that's in the skin. So. Tendons are a bit of a toughy to cut in the legs, but as long as you uh, keep your cleaver nice and sharp, they're okay. There's a little bone in there. Turn the camera around. The cats are lined up on the uh, on the floor behind me, waiting for bones. The wing tips. I'll just chuck them straight in. Deboning like this, just be careful with your with your fingers because this cleavers are damn sharp. Um, and if you uh, if you if you just so much as rub it along your finger, it will take a slice out of you. Bones though, they, they'd like to chew on them, it gives them something to do, stops them pestering me. And then the rest of it, I just chop up and, and chuck it in. It's going to give the uh, couple of swipes just to keep it keen. backbone that's been chopped up here. Quite therapeutic chopping up carcasses. Whenever I do it, I'm usually thinking about people I've kicked out of the group. One 
one step off a Mad Axe murderer, possibly. Really, I just don't understand this attitude where people say, oh, I can't be, uh, I haven't got the time to do raw. I mean, if you haven't uh, got a few minutes a, a month or a few minutes every couple of weeks to spare to prepare your cats the best food that can possibly have then really I don't, know, don't, don't really think you should have the cat in the first place but. more backbone it's good bone for the cats the backbone if you chop it up into slices like that uh, the cats will be able to chomp that easy. They're the, the ribs. If you're starting out with bone, they're the they're the they're the best. The, the little ribs. They're just so easy to to chomp. Right. So that's our. Right, so that's the chicken, the liver, and the heart. I would have put some kidney in it, but I'm not waiting for it to defrost and mess about, so it won't bother. So that's the, the basic mix. Then to that, I add raw eggs. So I'll grab some happy eggs, happy free range organic. This is going to make up roughly three kilo of mix, I would think. So I'll stick half a dozen eggs in it. I've been here enough. Half a dozen eggs. Can't be bothered to get the uh, food processor out, so the yeah, whisk will do the job. So that's egg. My cats just absolutely love Glenrick pilchards in tomato sauce. Good source of omegas, so uh, we'll throw a can of that in as well. Can opener to work, it's definitely on its last leg now. Gotcha. Toshi, get down. So, get get down, you pest. Pilchards and egg. Straight in the pot and some water. And a good mix 
So. Unfortunately, this isn't in smell vision, but I swear to God, it smells so nice I could just dip in a spoon and eat it now myself. <laughs> so that's a bucket of cat food. Heat sealer slightly on the large side. I've got no idea if this is going to work, so I don't. I've not used these uh, heat seal bags before, and I've lost my. So this this ladle holds roughly. About 120 grams. So the idea is to stick four of those in a bag. There we have one meal. Can go straight onto the freezer. bag should then do the four cats one meal um, theoretically I think it might be a little bit much but I'm sure Spike will over it up if it is Yuki would you like to get down You can get down. The good thing about the heat sealed bags is they're completely sealed. So I'm just dipping it out, out of sight of the camera at the side here. I mean, I'm just dropping them in a sink of soapy water to, to wash them back off again. So obviously it's obviously making rather a mess of it.
just stick that in the bowls and let them have it. To eat now. bags Five bags, that's two and a half days for the four cats. Don't know how many minutes that was, not that long I don't think. So that's making cat food, top quality cat food in a few minutes. Uh, cost wise, what was it? Uh, the heart was two pounds. Liver was a pound, that's three pounds. The uh, chicken was five, that's three, eight pounds. I'm not sure how much the eggs were, probably about a quid, nine, nine quid. Nine quid for two and a half days for four cats. Oh, and a tin of poultry, 80p. So there you go, cat food, enjoy.